Hurricanes are a fact of life for many of us, but what happens when the power goes out? No lights, no refrigeration, and no way to charge your essential devices. So don't get caught unprepared. Today we're diving into the world of off-grid solar power. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to build an off-grid solar power system to keep your devices running during an emergency. I'm gonna break down the basics in a way that's super easy to understand even if you are a beginner. And to show you how it all works in action, I'll be using this awesome gear provided by Bouge RV. So imagine this, a major storm hits, the power's been out for days, maybe even weeks, but you are relaxed knowing that you have a reliable source of clean energy to keep your lights on, charge your phone, and even power a small fridge. With solar panels like this from Bouge RV, a charge controller, an AC inverter, and a lithium iron phosphate battery, you can create your own personal power and be ready for anything mother nature throws your way. And here's how it all works. This Bouge RV solar panel collects sunlight and converts it into DC or direct current electricity. The charge controller optimizes that power and sends it to your battery for storage. And when you need to use your devices, the AC inverter transforms the DC power into AC power, just like what you have in your home. So let's talk solar panels. This is the heart of your off-grid power system. And I'm rocking this awesome Bouge RV N-Type Topcon 200 watt panel. And I've got five of them, but we'll focus on four for this setup. And for that fifth panel, let's just say I've got a secret project in the works. This is just an unobtrusive reminder to give this video a thumbs up. Now you might be wondering, why did I choose these specific solar panels? Well, for starters, they were provided by Bouge RV for this video, but they were also built with cutting edge solar cells these bad boys are much more efficient than your traditional solar panel. We are talking about a 25% conversion rate, and that's a huge upgrade over traditional panels. And on top of that, these panels have a bifacial design. So what does that mean? They can capture sunlight from both sides. So not only do they get direct sunlight, but they also absorb reflective light from the ground or surrounding surfaces. And this can boost your solar power output by up to 30%, which is especially useful for shiny or metal roofs. And these panels are built to last. We're talking about a lifespan of up to 30 years. That's longer than most traditional solar panels. So you can invest in these panels with confidence, knowing they'll be powering your adventures for decades to come. In my setup, I'm using four of these 200 watt panels, which gives me a total of 800 watts of solar power. That's enough to keep my essential devices running during an outage, even if the sun isn't shining its brightest. And with that fifth panel at my disposal, let's just say it'll be part of my new secret project. Now let's move on to the next part of our system. We need a way to harness that energy from our panels and send it to our battery. And that's where this little guy comes into play. This is the Bouge RV Sunflow 40 amp MPPT charge controller. Now you might be thinking, what in the world is an MPPT charge controller? Well, think of this essentially as the brains of your solar power system. This thing takes the DC current from your solar panels and using maximum power point tracking, optimizes that power before it sends it into your battery. In a nutshell, this fancy piece of technology monitors the output of your solar panels and adjusts the voltage to extract the maximum amount of power even when the sun's not shining at its brightest. This charge controller is extremely efficient converting up to 98% of the energy that passes through it. That means you're getting the most out of your solar panels. Plus, this has a wide operating range of voltage, making it compatible with almost any solar panel configuration. Safety is paramount when it comes to electricity. And this charge controller has overcharging, over discharging, short circuit, and reverse polarity protection. So you can rest assured that your battery and your entire charging system are safe and sound. Now that we have our solar panels providing power into our charge controller, we need to make sure that we have our battery hooked up. In fact, before you hook up the solar panel, you wanna make sure that the charge controller is hooked up to the battery. This is a 100 amp hour or 1,280 watt hour battery. It also happens to have a 100 amp maximum BMS, which means it will give a maximum of 1,280 watts into my AC inverter. When this battery is at its maximum state of charge, it will read 13.4 volts on your voltmeter. Once you've depleted it, it will work its way down to 10.4 volts. 
Ideally for my setup, I would have three or four of these 100 amp hour batteries, giving me a much larger storage capability. However, with just this one battery and my four solar panels combined, I can charge this battery in just over an hour from empty. Over the last several years, lithium iron phosphate battery prices have decreased dramatically, making them one of the best ways to invest your money for an off-grid system. In fact, this battery is almost one third of what you would have paid for a battery about five years ago. On top of that, the Bouge RV 100 amp hour battery is rated for about 4,000 complete cycles with about 80% of its maximum capacity remaining. All right, we've got our solar panel, our charge controller, and our battery. Now that we've absorbed all of the sunlight that we can, that's where this bad boy comes into play. This AC inverter converts the DC power from the battery into alternating current using a pure sine wave inverter. That means that when you plug in your household appliances, you're getting the same kind of power that you would get from your home. Now this is where you have to be really careful with your AC inverter. This one is a 2000 watt 12 volt AC inverter. But in reality, that's the maximum power that it can output. For any kind of sustained loads, you're going to want to have something that draws 1000 watts or less for this AC inverter. So if you think that you're going to do anything with a hot plate, coffee maker, anything like that, you may want to consider getting their 4000 watt AC inverter, which can sustain loads of 2000 watts continuously. And one of my favorite features of this AC inverter is the fact that it comes with this remote control. So I can plug this remote control into the inverter and set this panel somewhere inside of my build where it's not in the way while also hiding all the electronics just so they don't look out of place. And the last major feature of this AC inverter that I want to point out is that this does have Bluetooth connectivity. So when I get everything set up, even if I don't want to access this charge control panel, then I can access all of the device's functions through that Bluetooth app. I've partnered with Bouge RV to offer you an awesome discount on these products. If you're interested in building a solar system like this, be sure to check out my links in the video description. The main advantage advantage of these Bouge RV kits is that you truly get all of the things that you need in one package. You can get that AC inverter, charge controller, LFP battery, and solar panels, which is all of the essential items for an off-grid setup. If you buy a pre-packaged power station, those don't necessarily come with solar panels. And for the size of the battery and the size of the capability, at the price of these Bouge RV kits, you are getting truly everything that you need. With that being said, this Bouge RV kit didn't come with USB-C outputs. It didn't come with your standard 12 volt car style outlet. So if that's something that you want, you can easily up upgrade this kit with minimal cost. My number one question that I want to ask you, the viewer, is which do you prefer? Those all-in-one kits that have everything you need minus the solar panels, or a kit like this Bouge RV kit that has everything you need except for possibly a few of those special outputs? I tend to think that each one of those things has their own special use, but for those that want to get their hands a little dirty, not too difficult to work on, these Bouge RV kits might be a better option. In the next video in the series, I'm gonna take this system off grid and set it up in a real world scenario. We'll cover everything from mounting the solar panels to connecting the system to your devices. So make sure you subscribe to Adventure Gear TV and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it.